Hi everyone, I'm Liz. This is Vera's is My Bag. Uh, this is long time no see. <laughs> this is going to be a kind of a channel update, catch up video. Uh, I am going to do a what's in my bag for a bag that I got in August. But I just wanted to chat with everybody. Been kind of missing in action on social media. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook uh, group. And um, I know that a couple things have kind of affected me. Um, of course, you know, the changes in Vera have affected me. Um, as far as I, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated because there's been some really cute patterns that have come out. The new Disney pattern. There was a new Harry Potter pattern. There's a new Disney pattern. Um, there's been some performance twill that came out that I really like. The pattern's not performance twill. I'm, I'm still going to be okay buying, but they've raised the prices so high that now I feel like I'm going to have to wait for everything to go to sale at the outlet. Um, I just don't, I can't spend any more than what I've already spent on all the bags. And I am, that's another subject that I kind of wanted to chat about. So just getting back to the, the, um, changes in Vera. Um, the fact that these, pa these really cute patterns don't have any trim piping, um, and they're starting to make like pocket sizes smaller. I'm going to link a video to, um, Potato Peach. She did a video about um, a small backpack. And so I don't have one to show you, but I'll link her video. But they have definitely changed like the size of certain pockets, make it harder to get in the bag. There's just a lot of changes that are very, very disappointing and have really like cooled my um, interest in buying New Vera. I do love Performance Twill. And I probably will still pick up some of that once in a while. But this, this, and it's not even just the signature cotton itself, because I think they've made some improvements on that. But it's the, it's the details that, and the scrimping on, like, I think they're getting rid of, um, there's a bag at the factory outlets called the Go Ahead. Um, I think there's a regular size Go Ahead. That's the one that comes with double strap, like a shoulder strap and a crossbody strap. And they're getting rid of one of the straps. I think it was the, like the shoulder strap. So you're only getting the one strap or maybe it's vice versa. But it feels like they're, you know, starting to like take away details, um, cost cutting measures maybe, which is understandable, but they've, they're doing the cost cutting and raising the prices. <laughs> That's really frustrating. Like, if you had left piping on, then I maybe could, you know, spend the, the extra for a Vera bag. But I'm, I'm done. I think I'm done. Like, maybe, maybe if I find something in the 70% off at the outlet, you know, a signature item in there, um, I will indulge. Um, so, yeah, that's that's just really gotten to me. And then, of course... I've overspent, like way overspent for the past year and a half. And um, I feel like I need to get rid of stuff and sell bags. And I'm not going to be shy about saying that I want my money back out of them. If I haven't used them, they're brand new. Or even if I have used them only once or twice. Because I have so much that I only, you know, go in a bag one time and then it's like basically brand new. I'm, I'm, I've reached a point where I'm like... I kind of got to a place where even looking at Vera bags were, was making me kind of like sick to my stomach. And I think, I think that has to do with the fact that this has become, you know, that it became somewhat of an addiction or a way to cope with stress. And now it's kind of done this flip where if I look, if I go on like thread up or eBay to look, I feel very like it's not a good feeling. So I keep everything closed. I hardly go on anything anywhere. I'm not looking at all. And I bought, I think I only bought two bags in August and I haven't bought anything in September. Um, 
I am just, I just hit a place where the whole thing makes me like kind of nauseated that first of all, that I spent that much money, um, that I have this large, large quantity of Vera to now deal with, like, you know, totes, totes full of it in the, in the, you know, downstairs, like in the, one of our storage rooms that we have downstairs. And it's just silly because I'm not ever going to use all of it. And I, I, you know, I'm going to make my, I think I'm going to make myself get out all my Vera totes and, you know, like choose 10. I mean, I don't know how many I have, but, and I've just got to, I've got to downsize. I think in a way I've almost gotten to a place where I'm embarrassed about how much I've spent on how much there is and what if even like a family member saw it? Like that's the feeling of like, this is not normal. This feels like something abnormal. And I and I think, you know, I, I make this video and I don't wanna make anybody feel bad about their own decisions. That's not the point of this. Um, I feel like I've made videos in the past where I've mentioned money and savings and it may have caused other people to feel badly, but this is, this is what I wanna talk about. So if you're not, interested I will leave a link to where I start talking about the this bag and show you what's in my bag so if you want to skip all of this sort of other chit chatty you know maybe not make you feel so good but that's the truth of this is that I want to recoup some of that money I don't need all these bags there is no way I'm ever going to use them all I'm, I'm turning 65 this year there's not enough years left for me to use all these bags um I don't want to regret getting rid of anything but that's where I'm at. So it did, I have gotten to a place where I don't even look at anything and I feel kind of sick every time I do. So it's weird. It's a very weird thing. And I'm, I'm sure there's like a men, like a, a mental diagnosis for this. Um, anyway, if it's hoarding, it's a possibility. I've never had any problem with anything else before. So I don't know that I have a hoarding uh, personality, you know, um, personality that, you know, that's my issue. But anyway, so the next thing I wanted to chat about is the fact that, um, I made a few lifestyle kind of changes. I was doing too much sitting around inside. Um, and I also had like a one, one game that I played on my iPad that, I've been playing for like four years and they're, they're sunsetting the game. So they're getting rid of it. And, um, so, you know, I was in a guild and played with all, you know, other people. I was in a discord group and all that stuff. So that's, um, that's going away, which was good. I was kind of actually glad it's the game is still there, but it's no fun because there's no updates or anything changing. And so I was kind of glad that that went away and, um, been reading a little bit. Um, but I did, I went to, I went to visit my son in California and that, uh, turned into, and, the, and I was just, I was going to mention that if anybody's heard me talk about this before, I, I go through this period of time in late August and September and October, and maybe even through all the way through the holidays. Um, of not doing very well. This is like my worst time of year when most of my um, depression shows up. Not severe, um, but just, I just know I'm struggling. Um, and so, yeah, and it has to do with a lot of, well, first of all, I got the thing with my mother going on. That's still just progressing as it's going and she's not remembering more and more things. So that's going on in the background. I don't talk to her for, you know, like a week's because it confuses her and she gets upset. So it's better when she calls me, if I call her, then she gets there. There's just something that happens and then she can't stop calling. It's like a, an obsessive thing. So she keeps calling all day long saying, did you call me? Did you call me? I think I missed your call. And it's like, no, I already talked to you this morning, mom, but it, it it's triggers something in her. And so then we go through this whole thing for days on end where she just keeps calling and saying that she thinks she's missed a call from me. So I hate to avoid talking to her, but I have kind of like tried to wait for her to call me so I don't cause this to happen. 
So that's going on in the background. And then my son's birthday is early September. Plus the light changes, you know, you start losing some of that light and that adds like a level of kind of, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people like fall, you know, pumpkin spice and all that stuff. Um, but I am not, you know, I'm much better off in longer sunlight, big, full sunlight. When it starts to get dark, I get worse. And the other thing that happened this past year, and especially since holidays, well, maybe it started last fall, but I put on mega weight this year. You know, I don't let you see it, <laughs> but I've probably gained, I had lost like, I had lost like 15 pounds when I had COVID in 2021 and I was at the lowest weight I had been for years. So I was like, I don't know, 165. And then I did this rebound and I got up to 190 this year and it's like, okay, I'm starting to see like double chins and, and I was having problems like like breathing and things. And it was very painful sitting in a chair. I don't, and I didn't know if that was related to the weight or if I had something else going on. So I started going to the doctor again to try to get some things figured out. I went to a hip doctor. Well, I went to like an orthopedic sports medicine doctor. I'm like, my hips hurt so bad. I have to one foot it up the stairs going in the house. I have, I can't sit in a chair for longer than a, you know, 15 minutes or something. And I've got so much pain. And the only time I didn't have pain is when I was laying flat on a bed or if I was standing straight up um, and even walking and everything outside, no exercise could happen because my hips. So anyway, he did like a, you know, an x-ray and I have arthritis. So I didn't know this and I didn't know arthritis would hurt this bad, but basically the inside of the socket of the hip is wearing and that causes pain. Um, he says nowhere near hip replacement uh, type stuff. I can't even imagine what that feels like if you're in so much pain that you have to have a hip replacement. This is pretty bad. So he put me on mega dose ibuprofen, like 800 milligrams, three times a day. And it was like, bam, it was all gone. It was so wonderful. So because all of that pain was gone, I will was able to start walking again plus the weather got just a tiny bit cooler so instead of 100 degrees it was 90 degrees so I could get out in the early morning while it was still 80 and of course it's very dry here so 80 is perfect um for walking and um one day so before I discovered Vera and before I got involved in that other like game on my iPad, which I was kind of addicted to. I played that all day long whenever I had a break, you know, and that's gone now. So um, the the addiction I had before all of that, before Vera and uh, this Knight's Chronicle game um, was Pokemon Go. I had started playing Pokemon Go when it first came out, July and August of 2016. And I probably played pretty regularly um, walking around. And, and also there was like a group of people in the Salt Lake area that are on Discord that play. And so people would coordinate getting together for like raids and things like that. So I was doing that. And I gave that up when my mother broke her hip. And just like all my world just started going crazy my stepfather had a stroke and blah, blah, blah. So in 2018 was when, um, I gave that up and it was, it was like the next year when I kind of started collecting Vera. So I had like one year of so much stuff going on with my mother and family. Um, anyway, so I had given up Pokemon Go. It just got to be, um, there wasn't really anything going on with it. And it was the same old, same old stuff and people, you know, so I just, it was, it was cold and I'm not walking. I was driving around, you know, doing it. And so, um, so this summer I picked it up again. I op I thought, well, I'll just use it while I'm walking. Cause I'm trying to get in two to three miles a day walking. And I have, um, and yay, I've lost eight pounds since, I don't know. I think I was at the doctor in June for my hips late June. And I've lost eight pounds since then. Cause I just went back to have my physical. So that was really awesome. So it's like, I want to keep that up. And the Pokemon Go helps the time go by while I'm walking, just like catching whatever it is. And um, and I got back on that Discord group and there's also like a group of, 
you know, there's also some like maps that you can subscribe to for five dollars a month that basically scan and tell you where all the really great Pokemon are. So there are there is some driving around that I do for that um, to pick up like special ones. But mostly I'm walking in my neighborhood and just whatever the game prompts me, you know, and 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 gives me, then I that's what I do. Um, so that's been like a, a change for me. I'm not in the house as much and I'm trying to not focus on uh, Vera at all. Um, I don't see myself buying anything um, through the rest of the year. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, this is, I'm going to put a timestamp for this too, in case, and I'll put notes down, but in case anybody wants to know anything about how I sell. So the other thing that changed is that my husband sent me a email um, about a month ago, maybe even less than that. It was right before I went on a trip to California to see my son for his birthday. So I was gone for, for you know, a long weekend over Labor Day weekend. Um, but he sent me this email and the government passed a law. You used to be able to sell, I think up to $2,500 um, in this kind of thing without having to pay taxes on it. And the government January 1st passed a law or it went into effect January 1st. You can now only sell $500 um, or you're gonna pay taxes unless you can prove, you know, that you made no profit off of it, um, I think. But then you're still have if, you, if you're trying to like show that there's a loss or or zero profit then you have to do the special form like a business like you're running a business and so i'm sure i went over that i know i did um this year and so now i've got to do all this tracking back and i'm gonna do it because i don't want to pay taxes um, i'm gonna have to do all this tracking back to see what i spent on the bag what i sold it for what it cost me for fees or shipping you know that kind of stuff so i'm gonna have to be like i'm gonna have to do like this whole Excel spreadsheet on it. I'm going to have to do it, but going forward, anything that I sell, I'm going to be watching that. And it's total across all platforms. So I'm going to be watching, you know, like that I don't go over that amount because um, they're going to be sending 1099 Ks out, I guess, from, I know for sure from eBay and I think Mercari and Facebook and uh, Poshmark also. So any of these like third party sites. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to be careful what I'm selling after January. I'm not selling anything through any of those sites. Now I do, I, I, I desperately want to reduce my, my bags. I desperately do. So I want to do it where if I have any friends or anybody that trusts me enough to do like it, use Venmo or I'm not going to even use face uh, PayPal because that tracks it as well, unless you're doing friends and family and I don't want to get caught, you know, with some weird thing. So it's basically going to be um, Venmo is what I'll be using. That's the only one my bank will let me use. Um, and, you know, so I'm basically probably going to post, you know, those things. I might do one video that shows like all the things that I want to get rid of. Um, and then people just have to message me um, through Facebook Messenger or um, Instagram message. I may I might put them up on Instagram, but I can't. I don't want to sell through any of those places anymore because I don't want to have to deal with the business. So if you're a seller, if you're you know you just gotta watch it because you are gonna. It doesn't matter if you didn't make that much off of it, but it's like if they show those sales, they're gonna send you a 1099k, um, and you're gonna have to you know, you're going to have to do your own thing to, um, prove that you're, that you didn't make that much off of it or whatever. So that's a, that's an update as well. Um, so anyway, that's all what's going on with me. I am, I had, I had a very, 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 very stressful time with my son for his birthday. It was a very, very hard visit. Um, it was 105 in California when I was there. It was 105. Um, and I knew that he was already kind of struggling with his job. Like he hasn't been happy. He cha They changed his job back in January. He got a raise this summer and we thought everything was going to be okay. But they're just playing some monkey games with 
his rate and how they're paying him. And then they also changed the job responsibilities. And so he's just not happy with his job. And he's just kind of plugging along because he bought this new house back in December. And he's trying to, you know, and it's a, a lot higher payment than he was in his little condo. So he's trying to plug along and do his thing. So I was out there for his birthday weekend and I could tell there was something wrong. And I could tell that, that he's just not, you know, he's not happy. There's just, you know, and it was 105. So we couldn't do a lot, you know, like it gets hot really fast. And he's already had some things happen at the house that he's had to spend a lot of money on. So he had dry rot. And he, so originally they had termites that he had to have tented in that house. And then there was dry rot. So he had all the wood that was dry rotted um, and fun had fungus on it because that happens in California. So that was another, I don't know what, $4,500 to do that. He had put in all new floors. So he had pulled all that out of his savings to do floors and the, redo the floors in the house, thinking that he was kind of done. And then um, he had a flood, like a little flood in the backyard. So he had to have them dig out underground and redo the drainage um, to get rid of water when it rains. It doesn't rain that hard, but it had like a mega rain. <laughs> I don't know when it was, but um, he had to end up having that done and some screen doors and things like that. While I was there, his air conditioning went out and he had had it checked once before. There was a uh, issue with something with, um, I can't remember why they went to look, but the guy who, uh, the guy who looked up in the attic at where the furnace and the blower is said, oh my goodness, it's like Mickey Mouse together. And the appraisal guy never even caught it and never said anything to him. Or he probably would have asked for more money back when he bought the house from the seller. So while I was there, he lost power in the back of the house and the air conditioning wouldn't work. And we don't know why. And it's so hard to find good um people out there to do work you know off of yelp or whatever it's just like you can't find anybody so he called his old air conditioning guy to come out and look and the guy said this this system is like 35 years old it's gone it's ready to just go like you probably had a short in the wiring the wiring's all exposed if the compressor sits on the roof of the house and it's exposed to the sun so they were inundated with calls for this for air conditioning so they couldn't they haven't even gotten to him to give him a quote so he's been like it's been like 90 degrees in his house every day when he comes home from work and there's no way to cool off his house just does not get any kind of cross ventilation he's tried really hard with fans but he's just in a bad place like that was like the, the camel that broke the straw or straw that broke the, broke the camel's back so he's looking at probably a twelve thousand dollar air conditioning now he'll be able to probably get a financing loan, but it's just like, um, because it's going to be the compressor on the roof and the whole thing that's in the attic has to be redone. Cause it's, it's actually not in, even in the right place. He had a ceiling. He knew there was something wrong because he had water coming through his ceiling. And he, it turned out that that was the air conditioning drainage wasn't there was no pan there and it was like so it was getting the ceiling all wet so his ceiling got all messed up so he's just in a bad spot <laughs> and I felt so bad for him when I was there he wouldn't even open his birthday presents that I brought him he just left them so I left like on uh, the day after Labor Day and, and I just told him I'm like I think you I, I I honestly think that he needs to like you know maybe get some counseling or something you know just like there's there he's just not he's just not in a good place in his head and he needs help so we're working on that and he's just he's all alone out there and he lost a whole group of friends three guys moved and anyway this is long and I'm sorry but this is my catch up with you guys and you're either going to listen or go <laughs> don't you can skip to the bag I'll leave it like I said I left a link anyway yeah, he lost his three best friends. They moved out of state during COVID. They all moved and they were like the guys he lived with since he went there from college. They were like his best, best friends. And then all he has left is this peripheral group of friends that were friends of friends. And they're couples, they're all couples and he's single. And so it just turned out that everybody like kind of stopped calling him and doesn't, you know, really didn't want to get together much. And he had a couple of guys that he did board games with. 
Um, and that's sort of fallen off. He spent like some money on all these like fancy board games and he, you know, kind of lost that whole group too. And so he doesn't do, he has no social life and he's just kind of not the, he's not the planner type. He's the type that likes to go after everybody else invites him, but he just doesn't have, does anybody do, does anybody, um, follow or have done the Myers-Briggs, um, personality type test? If you haven't done it, I'll leave a link below. It's very interesting. And I had done it years ago. Um, I know, um, my personality type and I had my son do it and he's got the same personality type as me. Um, my daughter is an extrovert, but he and I are introverts. I'm an IN, I'm an INTJ, if anybody knows, um, this stuff. And, um, INTJ, sorry, I'm fussing with my hair. It just keeps, always want to go in my face when I'm doing videos. Um, INTJs are, they seem to be antisocial. They're not really, but um, they don't waste their time on somebody who just wants to talk about frivolous little things. They like more deep relationships, deep conversations or whatever. And um, tend, to, tend to be very fine all by themselves and not need a lot of social interaction, but it is healthier to get some social interaction. But you get drained faster. So anyway, he's a, he's one of those. And I think it also affects that he, he likes to have some social, but he's not gonna plan it. <laughs> he's not gonna plan it. And the, the two couples that he was hanging out with that used to like invite him over for Thanksgiving dinner and like all sorts of other things, movies and board games, they just stopped contacting him. And he's not, he's not a good one to like, he, feel, he feels like if people wanna see him, they'll call him, you know, and he doesn't wanna be like, a, you know, a fifth wheel in this group of two couples um, trying to hang around with them all the time. So he doesn't call them unless they ask him. The worrying never stops for, for moms. <laughs> anyway, okay, on to the bag now that we're 30 minutes in and sorry. So like I said, I only bought two bags in, um, in the last month and a half. This is one of them. Um, I started really, I saw someone, someone on my Facebook group, um, and I'll leave a link or the name of the Facebook group, um, below if you want to join it. It's just a group where we don't do any selling or anything like that. It's, it's all about just showing the bags that you got and maybe, maybe, uh, listing a sale if you know about a sale kind of thing, um, or when the online outlet sale is happening. But this is a large on the go which is um, a really big bag. Um, there is an on the go, which is, an, is the next size down from this. You can tell the difference, which I didn't know until recently. Uh, a large on the go has this flap, this pocket, where the regular on the go only has the zipper um, on the one side. Um, so this is the large on the go, and this is in Kaleidoscope. I think that's, I hope I got that name right. Um, the on the go, I love this placement. The on the go was, um, sorry, this bag's a little heavy. Um, there's been probably, I'm going to say there's probably six to eight patterns that the large on the go came in. I love it because it has super wide straps for me. I think these are the inch and a half and I like that. Um, got two nice side pockets. And like I said, at, you know, this, um, it's got the big zipper. I'm not going to even unzip this because it is the old metal zipper, um, that I hate. And I caught my nails on it already today when I tried to open it to see if there was anything in there. I couldn't remember if I put anything in there, but I'm not using that anymore. Top zipper on the top is the plastic zipper and those are great. Um, so this is like, I'm going to say, I don't have the exact measurements. I don't have it measuring tape, but I think this is close to um, 14 or 15 inches. Is it 14 or 15 inches wide? I feel like it's almost as wide as a Vera tote. Um, and then about 11 high, but it, and it's got a very, very deep base on it. So it carries a lot. So this is a nice bag for me when I want to carry more than the on the go. 
I was just in a bag that's very similar to On The Go, but it was a Stephanie Dawn. And I was in that for like three weeks. Um, I think when I got sick of Veer, I was like, I'm not even gonna carry Veer right now. Um, anyway, so um, this is, uh, yes, like I said, it's the large On The Go. So we'll just take a look at what's in it. Um, nothing in this pocket. Um, in the, in this flap, um, which is, is it magnetic? If it is, it's very, very light. Like I don't have to pull at it hardly at all. I'm carrying around my, um, charging cord in the little taco in Butterfly Buy. I think this is the Butterfly Buy. It's one of those. I wanted white on this, but it was just all the plain. This was one of those where somebody was selling like 15 of them. And so you didn't get a choice. I would have preferred if I had gotten some of the white in this. Actually, the one she showed was white. And I ordered it without realizing that it wasn't the actual one. It was, you know, one of 15. So that's all that's in there. Um, I've got uh, my Pokemon Go, Go Plus hanging off. This is uh, a catcher, like, so if you're driving and you, you know, obviously don't want to be distracted by your phone while you're driving, this thing buzzes when it goes by Pokestops or whatever, catching. Um, if I'm going slow enough, I can click on that and it'll pick it up uh, while I'm driving. Um, so that hangs off of there with one of those quick release rings that Vera had in some of her bags. Um, in this pocket, I've got um, sunscreen. I've been out um, in the sun walking a lot, so I'm always got my sunscreen with me. Um, and in this bag is um, plastic bags for dog pickup. Um, if I'm with the dog, I use those. Um, inside, sorry I didn't show you that unzip. So this is a plastic zipper on the top, which is Great. So there's kind of the inside of the bag with all the stuff that I've got in there. Um, the first thing that's in here is my, this bag holds a lot of stuff. I can like cram a lot of stuff in here. So this is my cap that I wear when I'm walking around um, to keep my sun off my face a little bit. So this is inside. Um, so this is my um, lanyard in <laughs> I haven't talked about it in so long. Am I going to remember my patterns? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I think this one was called uh, Beach Twal. This is like the the embroidered twal um, from the Beach Twal collection, but I don't remember if this is what it's called. This was in the online outlet sale, I think in July or June. I got that, um, been in, I've been in that, um, for like three or four weeks now. Um, why can't I think of this pattern? It's not coming to me at all. That's really bad. Well, I'm sure you're all screaming at the screen going, it's this. <laughs> well, I'll try to leave some patterns down below. Scott. A uh, little butterfly here. There's some ladybugs on this pattern. I don't know if there's any on my straps. I don't think I see any. They're blue ladybugs. There might even be some red ladybugs in this pattern. It's got cute, really cute small details on the dark background, which is my favorite um, type of palette where everything kind of pops. Um, I'm also carrying a, this is the small, I guess, I guess this is a clamshell. Yeah, it's a clamshell cosmetic, but I think it came from my, um, a four piece cosmetic. One of those ones with the clear bag and then the pieces inside. But I think I bought this separate on eBay or somewhere. So it's got the little gussets, um, and the plastic interior. And here I've got my hand sanitizer, uh, my asthma spray, 
so some more like medicinal things is a, um, a sanitizing wipe from the airplane ride. And then my allergy drops were, which are like so important. <laughs> I, I was out of them and I was like going crazy. Um, they're so expensive. It's like $20 for a two pack of those uh, allergy drops. All right, so that's the Clamshell Cosmetic Kaleidoscope. I'm also carrying this um, Performance Twill. It's called, it was just called the Cosmetic Bag and it was on the online outlet sale in July, I think, or June, uh, whenever I got that other thing. And it's just a, just a completely different size and shape than um, any of the other cosmetic bags they've sold before. And I don't even remember seeing this um, when I used to look um, you know, at all the stuff on the website. So this is um, a black performance twill with the Garden Dream Ditsy on the interior. So this, this one is holding sort of like lip glosses there's a Clinique eyeshadow. I think this is chocolate fudge or something like that. Um, let's put those down there. There's a um, blush. I've got that on right now. It's a little pink it's cream with what with a wand in there. All these are, I don't know what brand that is. I can't even read it. Um, a couple other little things. This is the, um, it's like a tinted, uh, tinted moisturizer. It's a foundation, but it's very, very thin. From Glossier. Glossier. Uh, this was an Instagram. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but it, I like it. And it was expensive, but it's lasted a long time. It's like a fluid foundation, so not as heavy. Uh, I don't want anything heavy on the wrinkles and stuff. Um, under my eyes, especially, it shows up so much. And there was like a moisturizer that came with a gloss, glossier. And this is a, um, it's called Lumination, Lumination Bye Bye Under Eye. Uh-oh, I hope I don't lose my battery. Um, I might have to plug this in. This is a under eye in medium tan, it says, but it has a lot of shimmer. Match, and it's not. It's not, um, it's not large shimmer. It's very, very fine shimmer, but it, when I'm videotaping, it's really apparent that I have this on. So I don't usually use that when I'm uh, making a video. Some other little things. This is like an under eye, eye cream. This is from Saturday Skin. I can't remember where I got those. Um, a couple of little mini I think this is yeah that's a lip this is a, a lipstick like a this is like a moisturizing lipstick so it reminds me of that blackberry that the clinique blackberry that um, elisa showed in one of her videos and then a, a little bit of a powder blush um and another um another um sanitizing wipe i'm going to plug you in I don't want to lose uh, this video by this thing dying. Hang on, sorry. Let's see if I can get you plugged in. I think I got battery. Okay, I think it's charging. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, I've also got this little pouch. This is from Stephanie Dawn. I thought it kind of went nicely with this, so I'll pick this one out. Um, Stephanie Dawn is out of business, but you can probably find some things on third-party sites from Stephanie Dawn. I found a couple of things. Sorry, my hair keeps getting in my lip gloss. Um, so I've got my uh, pods in here, my ear pods. That's the other thing that happened this summer is that I started getting ringing in my ears and went to the doctor. And I'm getting tinnitus and he said don't wear your ear pods like all the time like you're gonna do it really like a short period of time that's fine so when that was the other reason I picked up Pokemon Go 
is that I was always listening to audiobooks or something while I was walking to get my steps in. Um, and I can't do it anymore because it's going to make my hearing worse. Getting older and all those things are going to start to go. And so he said, you know, find something else. And that was why Pokemon Go got picked up again. That's really the reason why. Now that I now that I saw those in there, that's the reason why. Because I can't wear my earphones, you know, for an hour and a half at a time while I go for walks. Um, I do put them on if I'm my husband's gone to bed and I'm trying to watch a video or something. I'll put it on for a couple minutes, but I'm trying not to wear headphones at all. Um, it's like a. It sounds like if anybody lives in the Midwest, I'm out west. We don't have this. But locusts, you know what locusts, the locusts sounds, the cicadas, they get really loud. And that's what's going on inside my ears. Most of the time there's enough other noises around that it drowns it out. But if I'm in a quiet room or I'm just sitting by my, you know, it's like it's in there and it's driving me crazy. Uh, don't you guys just love tuning into my videos and hear all my complaining? Um, the other thing I'm, I was going to tell you, and then just real quick, and then I'll get back to this, is that because of where I am in my head right now about Vera, I'm not going to be making a lot of videos. So enjoy this really long one that's probably going to be an hour because I'm not, I'm going to maybe make one video a month. I'm not going to do much right now. Um, it's just, I don't feel like it. So this one was kind of impromptu and I did want to talk to you guys about all these things and tell you. So that's part of the channel update portion of this is that my channel's not going to be very active and I'm not going to be that active on Instagram either. There's really nothing to show you. I'm, I mean, if I switch into a bag, I guess I can. And I, and I could be, I could just, you know, randomly pull things out and just take pictures of them. I don't know. That feels a little non-organic. You know, I'd rather just show you what I'm actually using. Anyway, this is a, um, from a four-piece cosmetic. This is the Roll Cosmetic. I don't think this is on the Roll. This is the smaller version. And um, this is Lavender Meadow. And uh, that really great placement I got on that one end of the bumblebee. My nice big pink flower. I'm so happy with all my Lavender Meadow. That is not being sold. And then I got that nice flower on that end. Um... Yeah, I just love this pattern so much. It's perfect. So I thought it kind of went nice with that. Oh, I forgot to show you what's in here. Um, so this is the longer cosmetics, like mascara and, oh, there's a pen in here, my, an eyebrow pencil, uh, another, another eye drop. Because what happens is I pull out a cosmetic going into a smaller bag and I'm like, I don't need, you know, and I don't look at what's inside of them. I'm like, I'm just running out. And then I have no... Uh, sorry, something's biting my ankle. And then I have no eye drops. And man, when those, when my eyes start, it's bad. I gotta have eye drops with me uh, for allergies. I'm also carrying um, reading glasses. This is a pen that, I think whoever sold me this put this pen in there. I can't remember. Maybe the pen came with, maybe it, it came with something special that I bought. Uh, maybe it not with this. I think it might have come with that back, that small backpack that I have in <laughs> my brain. There's no way. Anyway, this is hanging around um, at eyeglass sleeve. So if you order readers through the signature line, I don't think it happens. I don't think it happens. I don't think when you get readers at the outlet, you get the sleeve, but on the signature line, there's usually a sleeve with it and they don't show, and that's the other weird thing is they don't show the sleeve on the website when you're gonna order the readers or and especially like in the um, online outlet sale that I know they don't have, cause I never knew there was sleeves with this stuff. I would see the glasses and I'm like, so anyway, this is a cute, really cute hanging around. This was at the factory in the, the, I don't think I got it when it was in the 65% off sale. So that's really nice. Um, I have, let's see what's in the pockets. Oh, my charging brick for when I'm out playing Pokemon Go and I need more charge. Because <laughs> I'm out there for a while. Um, my comb, my stand, handy, handy dandy large tooth comb for my tangly hair. And... Um, because my eyeballs are so bad. 
This is a, this is an old antique mirror I got from some antique store. Um, and it has the two mirrors, one close up. Uh, so if I need to pluck my eyebrows, I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, another pen. This one is the, um, I don't really like these pens, but I like the gel pens more, this one, but these are good. Uh, Garden Grove. That's a pen. I remembered one pattern name. My tissues were in the big pocket. Uh, I've got a mask with me. This is my key fob. That's in that back, large back pocket. Um, and then this is my Rakuten refund check, which is for $6.64. So if you buy Vera um, and, you use, and you, you use Rakuten and click on the Vera button, it takes you to, Ver, to Vera site and then it sends you, um, it depends on the sale, that, the percentage back, but I think this was on the 2% back and it was when I had this front, it, and they gather it for like 90 days. So I, it was, you know, obviously, um, I think this was from, this might have been from the January through March. I don't know when, where their time frames are. But it's been sitting, I keep forgetting to go to the bank and put it in the bank. So that's my Rakuten check. It's supposed to be used towards more Vera, but I'm <laughs> not. Uh, anyway, so here's the interior of the bag. It has the uh, two uh, large pockets in the front, which are nice and big and large. Um, and then the back side has the nice big zipper. Um, like I said, this is this is the large on the go, so it has really nice big pockets on the inside. It can hold a ton of stuff. Um, I can't try it on for you to see, but it's it's a nice big large one. So that is um, what's in my bag. I like I said, I probably won't be back for a while. Um, I am really just not in the mood for much of anything, and especially until I get this all this stuff straightened out with my son, because I am I I was really really worried about him when I left. He was he was in a really bad state when he dropped me off at the airport, and it's very hard being so far away and not being able to. Um, you know, I could talk to him on the phone regularly and stuff, but I just feel like he needs uh, more interactions with people. He's just working his butt off and then going home. And 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 he, when I arrived, now the other thing is when I arrived, he told me that he really wishes he had never bought this house. He regrets it a lot. And that's a bad thing too. I mean, cause he's paying, he's spending all this money and he spent, you know, and then there's closing costs and all that stuff. So I told him, well, he's like, I wish I hadn't moved down to this Valley cause he used to live a little bit farther North. Um, so he was, he was in the Santa Clarita Valley and he moved down to the San Fernando Valley. And he said it was be cleaner up there. You know, the neighborhood he lives in is, I mean, this is an, ex this is expensive compared to what you spend in the rest of the country. And the neighborhood that he lives in is, I mean, there's anywhere from $700,000 houses to a million dollar houses and you would not know it. You would not know it. It's like, it's a very, um, it, it, there's definitely spots that don't look taken care of very well. And he was in a nice little town in Santa Clarita where everything was clean. It was foothills, like very gr more green up there. Now he's down in more of a dr very dry. And it's been so bloody hot this summer for him. So hot. Now no air conditioning, which like I said, he's the guy, the people aren't even going to come to give him a quote until the end of this month. They couldn't get to him. So he'll get a quote. I think it's next week he gets the quote. So he's been without air conditioning since the 6th. He'll get a quote next week and maybe they'll get the air conditioning installed two weeks later, which might help because September and October are the hottest months in California. They're the, they're the worst because the Santa Ana winds are blowing all that heat. That's when all, they have all the wildfires in California is because of those Santa Ana winds. So he'll be, um, yeah, he'll be able to get his uh, air conditioning 
<laughs> so anyway, I'll be back. I don't know when. I'll be maybe be around. I'm on Facebook. I'm on the Facebook group. Uh, I'm reading stuff and looking because I like the the group there. Um, but I just don't feel like posting or taking any pictures. Everything just feels kind of bleh right now. So sorry to be depressing. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and take care of my sick husband. He picked up COVID. He was in California to visit his daughter and he came back sick. And I'm like, I can't believe it. So I'll probably end up getting it. I'm wearing my mask all the time around him. He's, you know, he's being good to stay away from me and, you know, but you know, it's so hard to, impossible to not uh, pick it up when you're living in the house with somebody. We both had it before, so it's not, I don't think it'll be quite as bad, but I'm not looking forward to that happening. So anyway, I'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out and listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.